Warning, this video contains graphic images that may not be suitable for little sissy bitches, so your discretion is advised. We kill shit here. Welcome back guys. I pretty much just did some remakes. Come rolling up this field here like, yeah, look at we got a dog. And then I talked about the dog. <laughs> and then I took off the GoPro and I it was frozen. So yeah, we ain't got none of the remakes. So down here on a bone set, you guys seen the bone set? I had a couple coyote tracks and Looks like some birds and mice took my pan cover off, but coyotes was there. And then they look like they came this way, and then now we got this guy. Beauty dog. It's uh, muddy out. Sun's shining. It's in the 40s, so we got a muddy circle. Beautiful dog. Real good fur. I mean, real good fur. It's just muddy, that's all. Just hanging out. Real timid. Perfect catch on the Duke. Should be a, should be a Duke 550. It's pretty muddy. I won't remake this spot. I just threw that log over there. That was my backing. I had a dirt hole here. I can't remake it. It's too muddy. So, Probably tomorrow if I got more time. I think I just got off work. I will probably put in another dirt hole. Depends. I might let it dry up. Because I got a set down here working. I got some sets over there. And then I got sets over the hill. And I got cables all around. So we'll probably just pull this one and, until it dries up a little bit. Alright, I'll get them taken care of. Stay tuned. Alright. The old Dukes. 550 here. Perfect pad catch on that guy. Yep, still. Get it up to where I can get a hold of it. Then killed my hammer yesterday. She did. old shit show right now I'll tell you <laughs> yeah I want to be a trapper well maybe I don't have all my stuff yeah there they are why do you want to be a trapper it's just mud Cold, miserable, shit. Hey, there we go with that. Oh, there's a male. Oh, it's so muddy. Male, pretty timid male. Get some of this mud off him. What a beautiful coyote. If it wasn't muddy, you could see how beautiful he was.
He's gonna have to get washed up. It's a big dog. <clears throat> Got a mess now. Like I said, I'm gonna probably end up making a dirt hole out here now, somewhere along here. There was my backing, it was right there. I had some footage of me driving on the swamp on the foiler and freaking GoPro was frozen. Time to upgrade my cameras. Stay tuned. What's up everyone? Just out checking a line and we got a Yodel doll. Let's go see what he looks like. out of this entire area right here I think I've gotten one two three four five six seven eight this will be number nine on the coyotes I believe and the only cable restraint left is right there every cable is caught one actually, I guess one actually caught a, and we're hip caught here. One actually had a deer that pulled the uh, breakaway like they're supposed to. Good looking dog, he's got something going on with one eye. He's, one eye is missing, I think, from the looks of it. But you can see, just so, this is where another one of them grass patches. There's another opening over there. You could put a guy up. He doesn't look to be caught very long. He's picking stuff up, which is weird. Look at that, it's tearing, it's tearing up the ground. Oh, there he found the cable. All right, we'll get him taken care of and I'll show you up close. It's a good looking dog. He's definitely missing an eye. Definitely we got an eye missing here. You some bitch, back up. Yeah, stay out of the catch circle. The best thing is to do is stay out of the catch circle. Come on now. While he's getting dispatched, I gotta move a bunch of this stuff over here. Fence this all off. Because the only cable I got left in this little area is right here. And this was the trail, Ridge. But from all the times I walked in here checking it, I've moved it over there and I need to stop doing that. I should be stepping over that cable every time I come in here, but. Stand it up a little bit. See, it's nice little tucked in right here. I'm just gonna throw all this stuff over here. Make it less inviting to walk through. It was, I ended up having a hell of a trail there for me walking. I have to come down, I'm gonna have to get more cables in. This is pretty good. Just like I said, I got that guy. And then I had one back here, you guys remember? I had one here in this circle. Looks like we got old possums hanging out still. No coyote tracks here. Some deer tracks. I got a hell of a trail there with some tracks on it. I have to find a good spot without all these trees for my cables. See, there's just too many trees here. I have to keep going until I find a clearer spot. Awesome. 
I think that makes like, what is that? God dang, I need to think back. I think that's 26 coyote. We had 34 last year, so maybe we can finish it off strong like last year. I spend a lot of time chasing other critters. If I just solely focused on coyotes, I could probably hit that 50, but. Oh, look at this. Look at this. He had one of the, he had a, uh, he was carrying a carcass from the carcass pile. Oh, let's see, we got the cable there. So let's toss that guy right there. Phew. Bad luck for him. No wonder he got through the loop or something. I don't know how he did that. That's a big guy out right there. Look at that guy. Yeah, dang. It's a good one. It's a beautiful coyote. That is a very I mean if that's my last if that's my last coyote of the season, I'll be happy with that. Man, it's a beautiful coyote. Big old dog right there. Sheesh. So basically what you've seen was don't go in the catch circle. Yeah, just stay out of it. I mean, you can tell where the area is. What, what got me was I went around because of that, tr there's some brush right there. I just stayed in the circle like a dummy. Yeah, and it, it ain't that defined of a circle either. So yeah, let's just say I'm dumb. <laughs> yeah, that was probably the closest I've been to getting bit. But we didn't get bit, we're good. But he definitely was looking to bite. It's a nice dog. I think that's, I'm very happy with that. I'm 100% sure that's not gonna be my last dog, but uh, that's a nice one. I want to go get him weighed up. That's a nice dog. I love that. That's awesome. That's a good looking dog. Last cable. Last thing on the line. And there he was. This has been a very good little spot right here. Like I say, and if you guys seen, remember when I first came here and set, it was littered with coyote tracks. And then I got a carcass pile out there. That's even better. Uh, I watch a lot of the guys up north, the ones that can use snares and they, they got bait piles and stuff. I just take like my beaver carcasses, I take all the meat that I can use for bait off of that, whatever I don't eat for back straps and whatnot, and then I just put them in these trees out of sight of anything because there's bald eagles are everywhere right now. You don't want your bait exposed, even if you can have exposed bait. Because then, like I say, well, I'm in the fly corridor or whatever it is for, for bald eagles. We don't want bald eagles even in the bait, whether there's traps or not. I'm not trapping nowhere near the bait. I just don't want to deal with the eagles. They drag them out. If eagles found that, they would drag them all out here. There would be carcasses laying everywhere. And that wouldn't work. So, yep. All right, we're going to get them weighed up. And that's going to be it for this one. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm. Fucking bullhead. What a bullhead. Oh, he'd be perfect for a fish tank. I ain't got nothing to put him in, though. I don't think he'd like to trip back. Look at that little guy. Wee little bullhead. If I had a container, I'd pick him home, put him in the fish tank. Get back in there. <laughs> All right, sweet. How did he miss that trap though? All right, so you guys remember, it's been, phew, stinks. It's been like a week. Look how much water we're getting now from all the rain and it's melting. There is clearly a muskrat around here. I wonder if he come across that snow and dropped in. Well, that paid off, finally. 
God, the smell of these things. Set them there. That's a good sized muskrat, too. Well, I figured if I keep breaking this open every day, they would. Some would come from somewhere and drop in here. I was hoping a meek would come along. Sweet. That paid off. I'm happy with that. I was hoping to catch something there. After a first few nothings, I'm like, yeah, there's nothing living there. Because I got it covered, but somehow he swam past that trap. Good looking muskrat. We will take that for sure. Heck yeah. Get her zeroed out. Let's see what she weighs. I think the biggest so far is 34 or something. Or he weighs, I should say. Got a little bit of mud on him, but he'll he'll brush out. He's heavy. Seems like a lot bigger dog. <laughs> 34. That seems to be about the right where it's at. 34, 34, 33, a couple 31s. Yeah, I'm 10 pounds away from my nephew's personal best, so I thought that dog was going to be bigger than that. All right, that's gonna be it for for today's episode. Um, we're pretty much gonna start trapping in Iowa again. I'm gonna be beaver trapping all the way to April, maybe do some nuisance after that. And I got a bobcat property there in Iowa I'm gonna go try uh, next week, which would be, I will probably be trapping it when you watch this video, I'll be trapping it hopefully. So, there it is. Dog number 27. It's a male. It's a beautiful dog. Look at the fur on that guy. Well, fur down, full cockaburst, obviously. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you guys being here. I appreciate all the shout outs I've been getting on Facebook. I've been seeing them. Uh, I try to reply when I see the shout outs. Uh, anyone recommending my channel, I appreciate it. See you next time. Stay tuned.